What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of the R31 LS Drift Build. Um, this one's probably going to be a nice little short and sweet video because I don't actually have a lot of time left today, but I want to continue on with some more stuff on this car. So, uh, the last couple of episodes you've seen, we've pretty much sorted out the fuel system, the rear end of the car is pretty much more or less sorted out. Uh, so now we're going to move on to a few things at the front end of the car. Um, I've done it, just uh, yeet that out, that doesn't need to be in there at the moment. Huh. But are planning on trying to just run a standard R31 radiator in this thing to keep it simple, but we'll get to that. So anyway, um, we still need to cut out our inner guards for this car. Now I was under the, like I was thinking about waiting till I get my front end set up from RB Factory to check how much of the front end that I want to cut out, but I sort of figured there's not a lot of point in doing that. At this stage, you know, I may as well just cut most of the inner guard out. I don't particularly need them in there, um, they're just going to get in the way and as long as they're gone I'll have heaps of room for future future stuff and for my setup. So um, I do plan on running a very 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 aggressive setup in this car to the point where I'm actually quite sure I'm going to have to relocate my um, camber tops. Some people, as you've probably seen, actually cut these and move them out. I believe I might have to because I have decided to go just stupidly aggressive with the front end of this car. Point is, I'm going to cut out these inner guards. Um, I'm going to look at a few photos of other drift cars that I've seen and done, um, customers' cars and stuff, to get some ideas of how far I should really be cutting. Um, looking underneath, it's almost looking like I'd probably need to cut out maybe like up here. Um, but I would like to sort of leave this ridge there if I could and cut on this side just for some structural integrity. Uh, but I'll have, so I'll have a look at some photos. Um, not only that, you would have seen if you're watching this build from the very start sort of months ago when we actually started this car and started dawdling with it i did chuck just a s13 sylvia clutch pedal in it this car was originally automatic it never had a clutch pedal and at the time i didn't have an r31 clutch pedal but i did have an s13 one um, so the s13 clutch pedal bolted up to the firewall fine that's all good but it is the wrong shape inside i was going to modify it um, but obviously at this point now we've decided we're actually going to build the sylvia as well so now i need that clutch pedal for the sylvia but uh, you would have seen that me and Rex actually managed to buy a R31 clutch pedal off Liam. So Liam was kind enough to sell us one of his because he had three of them. Uh, so I've got a new clutch pedal to go in this car that's actually right for this car and it's got to work. I've got to cut the brake pedal, the old cut the brake pedal trick with R31s. Most people who've done manual conversion on an R31 will know that one. And also got to look at maybe dummying up our brake master cylinder and stuff. So a few things we can go on with drilling, doing stuff with the firewall. Uh, because once this is all cut and everything, we're happy with it. Um, we want to get in and paint this bay pretty quick so that we can continue on with our wiring and everything else we've got to do in the engine bay. Righto, all of the room. We have it all. We have every bit of room there is. So, plenty of room for massively aggressive front end. Um, yeah, that's fine. So, the, uh, the plan is to eventually, hopefully soon, maybe even before the build's finished, is just pretty much a bit like a tube front end, just have something from this rail up to this coil tower. Um, could even just do it, it would be ugly, but I could actually do it just out of box. Um, the problem I have is that I don't have a tube bender or a notch like anything to um, actually bend up tube and make tube look very good. Um, so it'd be a lot easier for me to do it with box and still obviously help a lot as far as strength goes. It just look repugnant, but I don't know. I'll, I'll see what I'd want to do. Um, I'll figure something out, but yeah. So that's cut out. That's one more thing done. Um, and yeah, be ready for my super, super aggressive front end. Gonna have to have a chat to Arvin about what he reckons about um, actually moving the coil tops, the camber tops out, um, and how the best way to be go about that would be, and whether he has any recommendations because he is the man when it comes to actual research and development into the setups of these cars. So, you. All right, so we've got here our new Willwood Brake Master. So I've just opted to go manual brakes in this car because the size of the cam in the LS. Um, it's not going to make a heap of vacuum anyway, um, so it's not a massive advantage to run a booster and it's just one less thing we have to do. So manual brakes, 
and uh, really get that, that good brake feel and start getting real good on my left foot braking when I'm driving and trying to get a lot of tandem driving in and stuff. So this is a three quarter uh, Willwood Brake Master. Um, pretty standard unit, pretty cheap, not, not overly expensive and uh, should definitely do the trick. So this will be get bolted straight to the firewall and um, yeah, just run manual brakes. So we'll fit it up and drill our holes and do what we've got to do with that. All right, so it's actually um, the two pickup holes uh, too close together, they actually don't quite get into the steel. Like if we drilled holes, they wouldn't pick up properly. Wouldn't be strong enough. So what we're gonna have to do is make a, like a box, um, like a, a, just, a, just a plate bite. that bolts to the old location. And um, yeah, then use the plate and drill some holes in that for our Willwood master. And that's how we're gonna have to do it. So I'll we'll just get that sorted. So this is the S13 versus the R31 clutch pedal setup. So you can see the R31, the pedals are completely different shape. But apart from that, they are very, very similar in how they actually mount up and stuff. But much nicer to have this one that's just bolt in. Now we've got this one for the Sylvia. Righto, so the clutch pedal's in, but you can see it doesn't work with the auto brake pedal. So we just do the old chop chop with the brake pedal. I'm gonna pull the rubber off and cut it with the grinder. And then, um, then we should be right to go. Phew, look at that. Looks like it was made to be manual. Beautiful. So if my calculations are correct, should just be able to um, buy another one of those clutch pads and just stick it straight on that brake um, pedal. Not that it really matters because obviously in a drift car, you're always driving in shoes and stuff anyway. It's not that big of a deal. You don't particularly need rubber pads on the pedals. So while I've been doing the clutch pedal, uh, Rex has been making an adapter to actually fit this uh, Willwood pedal rod to the R31 brake pedal. So we should be able to use just the one off the old master, but we do have to weld a new nut to the inside of it to actually make it thread onto the post properly, uh, which is what Rex is doing now, just finding out what that thread is so that we can find a nut, because it is imperial by the looks of it. And um, yeah, weld a nut onto the little U piece that actually goes into the pedal. So then that's sorted. And yeah, just gotta make an adapter or buy one. It is the same as an S13 layout on the, on the, mast, on the booster. So um, I'd assume that someone actually makes one that just bolts up. Righto guys, so I did actually end up just trimming up the brake um, rubber pad and I actually just sicker flexed it onto the, um, the the brake pedal. So shouldn't come off, uh, should be stuck down fairly well. Shouldn't be able to slide out. And uh, so yeah, that's our three pedals. Full manual, making it happen. Alrighty, so this is what Rex has sorted out. He found the nut, so just tack that onto the little U piece and it threads on there like so. And we are... And just lock it up with the with the factory nut. That way we use our normal factory pin bolts up to the it's brake pedal, pedal as it should have from the beginning. Bob's your auntie. Minty. <whistles> yeah. So very good, very good progress. Alrighty guys, that's about all I've got time for today. Um, but yeah, awesome to make a little bit more progress. You know, more little things getting done. Uh, so the past three episodes you watched this car from the rear end to the fuel system to this has all been the past two days. So. It's been awesome to get in and actually get some really good progress happening on this car. Um, you know, it's gonna to come together really quick and I'm super excited about it. It's just a matter of making that time for us to actually do the work in our own vehicles. So, I mean, at this stage, there's not a whole heap more we can go on with anyway until we get some more parts sorted and start getting into some fabrication of our, you know, exhaust and getting our motor sitting where we want it to sit and, and making our um, gearbox cross member and stuff. So, so we've done pretty well as far as making all the progress we can make at this stage. Um, and next next week we should be getting some a few more parts um, that we've been sort of waiting for um, to to really get cracking along. And hopefully we can just keep this thing just steamrolling along and, and get it done real quick. So, um, yeah, short and sweet video. Thanks for watching, but uh, smash subscribe if you haven't already. Keep, uh, keep up to date with the progress of the new build. Uh, hit the like button if you don't mind. It helps us out a lot. Go to the shop and buy yourself a shirt and a sticker if you'd like to support the channel. And uh, see you next time um, when hopefully we're making some more progress in this thing. But for now, we've got to clean up, get it out of here, because on Monday it's back to uh, doing custom work. And um, got a lot more custom work to try and tra um, train through. So, yeah. We'll just keep moseying on as we can. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. See you later.